A 29 year old woman in Tennessee was arrested over the weekend for allegedly underliving her ex boyfriend's roommate, shooting the other man multiple times, in which authorities say was a fatal case of mistaken identity. Hi everyone, I'm Lady T. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for another crime news story. <music> Kiana Newsom was taken into custody on Sunday and charged with one count of first degree murder in the slaying of George Harris, along with the man Justin Howard, who's 32 years old. According to the affidavit of probable cause, officers with the Memphis Police Department about 1.53 p.m. on Saturday, March the 2nd, responded to a call in regards to a shooting outside the residence in the 5400 block of Apple Blossom Drive. Upon arriving at the scene, first responders said that they had located an unresponsive Harris inside of a parked Chevrolet Malibu. He appeared to be suffering from multiple gunshot wounds, and authorities said that they saw four bullet holes in the driver's side of the vehicle. Emergency personnel transported Harris to the Regional One Health where he was pronounced dead. Investigators obtained surveillance footage for nearby cameras which allegedly show footage of the failed shooting. The video allegedly showed a gray Nissan Altima with a unique body damage following the Malibu a short time before the shooting. The driver of the Altima was said to be an adult female wearing a white v-neck t-shirt. Police interview Harris' roommate, who is also Newsom's ex-boyfriend, and he told detectives that he was the owner of the Malibu Harris was in when he was unalive. He said that he had just let Harris borrow his vehicle. Newsom's ex-boyfriend explained that he believed that he was the intended target and that Harris was the victim of mistaken identity. The ex-boyfriend stated that he and his ex-girlfriend, Newsom, got into some type of argument at the store at Kirby and Shelby Drive. The ex-boyfriend advised that he left the store and went home. When he got home, victim Harris asked the ex-boyfriend to borrow his car. The affidavit states, The ex-boyfriend loaned his car to Harris and advised that a short time later, he received a phone call that Harris had been shot. Video from the store at Kirby and Shelby showed that Newsom was wearing a white v-neck shirt and was driving a gray Nissan a short time before the murder. Investigators went to Newsom's home in the 4000 block of Germany Town Road where they found the Nissan with the same unique body damage parked in the driveway. The owner of the home provided authorities with the video footage from the residence showing that Newsom arrived back at Georgetown Road address at about 2.06 p.m. on the day of the shooting. Police at around 2 p.m. on March the 3rd took her into custody and she agreed to speak with the investigators about the shooting. Newsom admitted to driving the Nissan and searching for her ex-boyfriend's vehicle with the male she known as Boogie, the affidavit states. Newsom located the vehicle then pulled alongside it her boyfriend's Chevrolet Malibu and Boogie pulled out a rifle style firearm then fired multiple shots into the Chevrolet Malibu. Newsom said that she fled the scene in the Nissan with Boogie. Justin Boogie Howard was arrested after Newsom picked him out of a police lineup. Both have been charged with first degree murder and is being held in the Shelby County jails without bond and is scheduled to appear in court later this week. All right, guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this story. So let's continue the conversation in the comment section. And as always, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And thanks for watching.